Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Steve with Printavo, and uh, we just wanted to take a minute here to show you how to set up text messaging in Printavo. Now, texting in Printavo serves two primary functions. Number one, you can text out your status change notifications to your customer. Now, what is a status change notification? It is exactly kind of what it sounds like, right? You're notifying somebody when the status of a job has changed, and you can do that via email or text message. Hey, and that's just set up under my account here. The other use for texting in Printavo is to let people know when you're requesting payment, right? When you go to that payment request button within a job, you have the option to send an email or now a text message to request the payment. So if you're texting me for money, it's going to go right to my phone uh, pretty immediately. And then I can just access that, pay you, we'll be on our way. All right. So step one, right? I'll just head into my account here. Then I'm going to go down to where it says messaging. Right. <clears throat> now you'll see this section here where it says SMS messaging. Right? And you're just going to want to follow these directions. So I'll go ahead, I'll go through these directions with you. I'll create a Twilio account uh, and show you, you know, what to copy, what to paste, and where to put it. And right, so first things first, uh, we're going to sign up for an account with Twilio. And Twilio is just an online phone. Right? Yeah, so you can send out text messages. I think they have a voice service too that um, of course doesn't work with Printavo, but uh, the texting is uh, you know, how we connect your customers to you via SMS messaging. So let me go click on this Twilio link here and I will set up an account. Now real quick, you'll see that Twilio is free to create the account. Now there is, just to clarify, there is a small charge to use Twilio, but it's it's so nominal, most shops shrug it off. The the phone number itself costs about a dollar per month, right? and then every text you send is quite literally a fraction of a penny. So you'll have to send a hundred texts before they charge you seventy five cents. So again, most shops just write that off and say uh, that's that's okay. I'll take the you know twelve to fifteen dollars a year to um, you know get paid faster. So let's do this. I'm going to do my info. We'll do Steve. Now what it's going to do is it's going to uh, send me a verification email. All right, so what I did uh, just now is verify my Twilio account in my email. We just cut that out of the video because we didn't want to, you know, reveal any customers, you know, personal information or, or private information or anything like that. It's anything sensitive, so we just cut that out. But in my inbox, there was literally just an email from Twilio that said verify your account. I clicked the email, there's a link right up top that says click to verify. I did that, and that redirects me here. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give them uh, a phone number to verify. I'm going to use my work number. I'll just use that. And I'm going to have them uh, not contact me at this number just because I'm not going to be using this particular account beyond this demonstration. This is certainly a personal preference for you. But I'll go ahead, I'll verify that, and I will be right back while I get this message from my phone. I'll submit that. It's going to just kind of walk you through some, you know, basic, sort of like a get, getting to know you kind of thing. I do not write code, so I'm going to say no. Uh, and I am here to get a Twilio number to use with a different service. Right? So I'm just going to say other. Great. So now, if I go back to my Printavo account, we've completed step one. All right. Step two, we're actually already here. It they take you directly to your Twilio console right now. So you'll see we need two pieces of information, right? We have we're accounting, asking for our Twilio auth token and our account SID. All right. So here is our account SID. I can click on this button to copy it. Right, so then I'll paste that in here. Now I'll go to my auth token. You can show it or not, that's up to you, but I'll still copy it and then paste it here. And then for my phone number, right, it says head to phone numbers. You know, you can click this, you can click this, it'll it'll take you here, but since you're already here, uh, no need to do that. But hey, you know what, what the heck? Click that phone numbers button. Cool. So what you're going to want to do is buy a number. And the reason for this is 
when you're texting people, let's say, you know, we're, we're based in Chicago. The business area codes around here, landlines are 312 typically. Uh, some of the cell phones and other like newer businesses will be 773. And when you're sending somebody a text message, you're going to want them to be able to kind of recognize it, right? Especially with all the robocalls and texts that people get these days. So you're going to want to search for a number with your area code. And it's worth the money, right? Because otherwise people are just going to ignore your texts. They're going to think it's spam and then it's going to defeat the whole purpose. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to search for the area code 312. And I'll say match to the first part of the number. Uh, you can do anywhere in the number. You, you do quite literally anything you want, but we want the first part because we're searching for the area code. So now I will just say that we want the SMS capabilities as well. If you're going to be using Twilio for other features, you can uh, select any of those other boxes. Right? But the important thing is that it has SMS capabilities. So then what I can do, you can take any number you want. So you'll see it's all giving me 312 area codes. Right? And again, the perk of this is if somebody's doing business with my shop that they know is in Chicago, if they get a text from an unknown 312 number, uh, especially if they live here in Chicago, they're much more likely to look at it than if they're getting a text from, say, you know, uh, the other side of the country or, or you know, just something unknown to them. Right? So then what you can do is you'll buy your phone number. It'll take you through the, the process, right? And you'll see it's a dollar for the phone number and a dollar per month. Right, plus the usage, which is that, uh, excuse me, the, the, the fraction of the penny per text message. Right? So then when I get my, um, my phone number, right, when I pay for it, and I can do that from here, I can do it from here, wherever, you're just going to paste that phone number right here. And once you've done that, you're all set. Right? So again, super easy. Uh, just head to Twilio, verify your account, copy and paste a couple pieces of information, pick your phone number. Again, I highly recommend getting something with your area code. It's totally worth the dollar, uh, you know, the 12 bucks a year. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at printavo.com. You can click the gray button here. Uh, if you have any issues with, with Twilio specifically, you'll want to reach out to their own customer care team. We might be able to help you out, but a lot of times, you know, if it's a Twilio issue, uh, you, you can click this help button and, and they just might have better access uh, on their back end to help you out. So again, thank you so much. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you and we're pumped for you to start texting away and, and becoming way more efficient. All right, have a great day.